My name is Sue Mount-Stevens. I'm the current Police and Crime Commissioner for Avon and Somerset and I'm standing again as independent candidate for the elections which will be held on May the 5th. If you look back at my CV, I ran a very successful um, bakery business and I was a magistrate for 15 years on the adult, youth and family bench. I was um, on the monitoring board at Bristol Prison and I was also two years in the police authority before uh, the Police and Crime Commissioner took over. So you can see I have a real interest and passion in the criminal justice system. And I was very clear that when this role was announced by the government that it should not be held by a party politician. And it was only party politicians who put their name forward. So in the end I thought, crikey, I'm going to have to put my money where my mouth was and put my head above the radar and I decided to stand. And it was a very undemocratic process and it still, it still is. Uh, you have to put down a £5,000 deposit which is outrageous. Um, and as an independent, you have to, you're competing against the big boys. Now, I've never stood before for anything before in my life, and therefore to stand against, you know, the, the big machines, big party, party machines that were out there who have activists in every town and village uh, across Avon and Somerset was a real challenge. Because after all, I can't deliver leaflets to 1.6 million people in Avon and Somerset. So that was a great challenge. But I decided to stand. And amazing, and probably more amazing to me, I actually won with 125,000 people who voted for me, uh, of which I thank them every day that they, they gave me that opportunity because it's been an absolute privilege to do this job. I'm often asked why have I decided to stand again after quite a, a challenging three and a half years, but an exciting three and a half years. I think um, there is uh, unfinished business. I want to bring in more people to scrutinise the, um, the activities of, of the police because I think that gives confidence. And if we just look at the confidence, when I started, um, the, the confidence rating in Avon and Somerset was about 71%. Now this, it's 79%. So I think we're going in the right direction that people can feel that it's their police service. But I want more people to scrutinise what's going on. So already I've set up panels where local people come in and scrutinise the way that the police do their complaints. They come in and they scrutinise the, uh, the cautionings, the conditional cautionings. They are scrutinising now stop and search. And I'm just introducing um, panels to, to look at the ways that the police use tasers. So all those are ways that the police use powers, but I want local people to come in and scrutinise so that they can, they can uh, give ideas and comments to the police so that we can improve the police service. The police service always has, has room for improvement, as in, as in any organisation, and we need to listen very carefully to well-informed comments from the public.